All right, so we're at the Ignick booth at the Overland Expo in the Pacific Northwest, and I walked by and I saw that they have a new stainless steel version of the fire pit that I recently reviewed, and so I had to stop and check this thing out and see what what else was coming out here. So you want to run us through the options and what you got here? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the new Fire Can Deluxe that will be available uh, in early 23. Um, the cool thing about this is not only is it a safe, portable propane fire pit, but there's also a separate burner in here that allows you to grill on it. So um, there's an insert with a grate, with a flame tent um, that you drop in. But as you can see, there's kind of a dual burner design. So you plug in one side to do fire pit mode, and then you plug it in the other side to do the grill mode, and you drop this, this grate and flame tent in. That's pull that, cool. comes with this little tool so you don't burn your hands. Um, yeah, and then you can cook on it and you can do that, you know, back and forth really easily while it's still hot, you know, change over, cook your food, and then go to uh, fire pit mode. Right. And so like the original fire can, it comes with everything you need. It comes with the uh, adjustable regulator, that fits in here. It comes with the ammo can lid, pop that on backwards, you know, close that all up and uh, so yeah this is great for burn bands for tailgating for doing all sorts of stuff and yeah. uh, you know like the other fire can fold up the legs and it's just super compact so that will fit in any rig that's, um, that's what I like about it is how small they are totally yeah I mean and that that's this product came out of frustration with <laughs> yeah, other propane fire pits they're like this and packing around it and have the dome lid and straps and all of this stuff it's like how do you get it all in one package so I can always have this in my vehicle, you know, and use it. Yep. Actually use it. So. We brought ours along. We got a little FJ Cruiser just packed out, and uh, we definitely have have that thing with us so we can have fires even at this event. Nice. And so I know people are going to ask, and I know the answer. You cannot bake inside of this. If, if in case you're going to consider that, you can't put the lid on right. when you're cooking things because there's a rubber seal right here. Yeah. So you can't do that. But you can roast hot dogs on there and yep. uh, anything like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And we are working on. Uh, <laughs> next gen already a lid that you could put on but that's that's down the road down the road <laughs> okay. and so the release for these is the 2023 yeah, yeah this okay. will be early q1 2023 ready for spring yeah ready get ready for spring for cooking out for fire pit cool yeah. so, awesome man yeah these look great sweet <clears throat> i walked by and just the finish on it is just it's a beautiful look yeah no, the all stainless steel i mean kind of sets it apart from from the regular fire can so we're stoked yeah and one of the things that i mean it's the same as the other can but when these fold down for anybody that hasn't seen the other review uh these rubber feet will stop it from sliding around oh you're fine these rubber feet will stop it from sliding around uh, in the back of your truck, which is really nice. I love how easy this folds away. And then also, whenever you're moving this, if you do have it set up and you need to move it, being able to grab it by these side handles, right. that's a really yeah. good With feature. the silicone grips, that's, yeah. I mean, especially you, burn yourself. you go from like cooking to fire pit, and then it's like, all right, we need to adjust it, yep. move it around a little bit, you can grab those, and uh, yeah. Sweet, very cool device. Okay, so we're about to walk away, but then I decided we better go through all the propane tanks because yeah. they don't and have these. So they have different kits, gas growlers as you call yeah. them. And so I'll let you go through and explain everything you got. Yeah, sure. This is actually one of our um, one of our first products that we designed and developed and launched. It's the gas growler, the gas growler deluxe. Um, which really we wanted to tackle the problem of those single use disposable one pound green bottles right. that everyone in the outdoor industry seems to want want to use but and they're expensive they're, they're expensive you know about five dollars you know for one of those which is one pound of fuel and then when it's done you can't refill it they end up in the landfill you know there's estimates between 40 and 60 million of those bottles are thrown away in the u.s alone every year which is crazy that's crazy. so so um, this is the gas growler, uh, the gas growler, it's a five pound tank, so five times the fuel of one of those green bottles, you know, that's enough for a whole weekend outing, um, you know, you don't have to have multiple bottles rolling around in, yeah, in the sure. back of your rig. Um, it comes in the, in the case um, to protect it, you know, molly webbing, a good handle makes it super super uh, portable and easy to use it includes the adapter hose so out of the box you can replace those green bottles um, 
stop using them right, on. right, right away. So we have a few few versions. This is the the original with the natural canvas. We got the all blacked out version, um, same thing, same kit. And then um, new this year is the the Gas Growler X, which is the 10 pound tank inside. So great for um, for products like you know fire can that are going to use more fuel um, and you know and longer adventures. But same same kind of features. It has these side bucket handles, makes it easy to get in and out um, of your rig. Um, again, comes with the hose, uh, everything you need. And then this is the the X Pro, which is an aluminum pound tank. And then this thing is just like. Uh, weatherproof case and it's just so light you that's know it's cool. basically the same weight as this but for twice twice the that's fuel. awesome so yeah and so for if you're beating it in the back of your truck you probably want to get the black finish you got a yeah. full runner or something you're yeah. transporting it inside or in the trash room or something like that you can go with the white finish totally and this is you know natural canvas so it's gonna get it's gonna get dirty and um, you know kind of get that patina yeah it's like hey it's used yeah it's, sure. it's not the showroom model these look all so stark and clean but you know mine has all of the the war wounds Definitely. and it shows it's been been used and uh yeah been put to good use yeah it'll stop it from taking dingers and then as well as are these all weatherproof or weather resistant anyway yeah they're weather resistant they're okay. built with a uh, multi-layer they have uh, eva foam inside which gives it some of the structure gives cool. it that vibration damping and also um makes it weather resistant okay so. right on yeah so then you don't have to worry about your stuff rusting out after a couple years right. yeah take, totally yeah. i leave yeah. mine on the outside of the truck and I don't have one of you guys' tanks, but it looks pretty rough after a few right, years. Right, yeah, around, around up here yeah. and the brass and the aluminum the case and all around. Dramatically. Yeah, we also, you know, on our tanks, we put this edging that, that also... Oh, kind of, cool, right on. That, Come on, um, won't ring you up. Just makes it better for throwing in the back metal on metal and yeah. stuff like that. It gives a little more grip and uh, a little more comfort. Cool. Cool. If you're walking around stuff, and then would you like to explain some of your uh, yeah, okay. electric I got a good Yeah, sure. We have um, some, so we're all about sustainable, sustainable outdoor heating, um, you know, so reusable, refillable propane. This is also um, reusable. This is battery powered. So these are powered off of USB-C power bank um, or, you know, 12 volt DC auto right. adapter. Um, this is the heated seat pad and we have a pad XL over here that is twice as big, holds up flat. You can put this on your on your camp chair for cool. button back heat. Um, the built-in foam pad. This is made from all 100% recycled Blue Sign approved fabric. Um, and inside is a carbon fiber heating element. Oh, wow. So weather resistant, um, super thin, uh, and heats up to 20 watts, puts off 20 watts. Um, and this one puts off at 24, 24 watts. Yeah, with a slick little controller, lets you set your um, heat temperature that you want your heat level and um and then yeah and, and it runs control it customize it it remembers your your preferred setting every time um, you unplug so, it that's yeah cool. every time you plug it you're like all right i'm a 60. that's pretty nice like, all right don't have to mess with it just turn it on and you're good to go yeah because usually you can't remember that how many For, settings does it have so it has 10 settings oh so it wow go, it okay. goes from zero to 100 in increments of 10. okay so, awesome yeah and then you guys, I know you once upon a time made with larger like sleeping pads. Yeah. Are those are those the, still available? Those are not available. That was our first gen of this battery powered heat um, system. Okay. But these are the first two models um, in that line. And then uh, these will be available this fall. And then next year we'll have uh, heated sleeping bag liner, heated blanket, and other bed cover pads okay. that we're we're working on. Too. Okay, so, so we'll cover that. This is, yeah, time. this is the start of of the new heated sleep system, awesome. but with a, a yep. couple entry level. Right on. Products. Yeah, because I think these for rooftop tent campers and even something that size, honestly, if you have that underneath a good sleeping bag, right, it goes a long way to help right. keep you warm at night. Yeah, some active heating. Yeah, you, know, you only need a up. little bit actually. Yeah, yeah, to get you up, and then insulation does so much. Right on. So. Okay, cool. Cool. And then um, last but not least, the the cooking apparatus. Oh the, yeah. The lantern. Yeah, the two in one heater stove here. Did you pick this up or? Two in one heater stove is uh, designed around kind of a classic kerosene heater, but it's much smaller. Um, and this is this is propane powered. Um, so this does uh, 
heat in the 360 degrees, and then you can adjust it to, hey doggy, <laughs> can adjust it to cook mode. It's got this cast cooktop, so you can pop a pan on here. You can cook and heat at the same time That's as everyone's cool. sitting around it. It's got the spring handle, you know, kind of for that classic vibe and right. uh, kind of heat protection. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a good little thing to bring, um, you know, great for hanging out in the parking lot after snowboarding in the snow, bringing up to the mountains um, when you don't want to bring a lot of gear. Right. You just want heat and cooking together. Okay. So, yeah. And then I noticed that this has a different port on the side of it. Does it come with an adapter for the... the... Yes, yes. Okay. So this this also comes with the, the hose um, needed for here, and then that connects okay. directly with um, with the adapter hose okay, from, cool. from the... Uh, from the gas growler, so those work seamlessly okay. together. I know someone would ask, so I'd yeah. better, better <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we try to make everything plug and play, so you pull it out of the box, you don't need to figure out, oh, what connection and what adapter do I need, and how do I connect this to that? It's just all included, ready to just plug in and awesome. start using. Okay, well, right on, man. All right, so now I think we got it that time, Yeah. as far as everything that they have to offer. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Cool. Thanks yeah. again, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to check out my other adventure, off-road, and overland-related content.